The following video is a compilation of male Karen spring material. It contains the most jokes ever put into a YouTube video. Bloopers to follow at the end. <laughs> Every St. Patrick's Day, we throw a block party, which we ask our neighbors to hard RSVP to. The hard R's are the life of the party. We can't do it without them. Some neighbors can't be hard R's, so they give us a soft answer. Or, soft A. Every year, we invite an honorary member. This year, we wanted a hard R from uh, Mac McClung, but we knew he was just a soft A. Well, I really wanted him to be a hard R. Man, he really wants to be a hard R. Very bad. What's up, my hard R, brother? What's up, my hard R? SVP. Every spring break, our Karens take a week-long carnival cruise to Punta Cana. It's their time of the year to be C-words. They're always C-words during spring break. Do you think that's why women seek rich guys? Because they want to be C-words? Most married rich women are C-words. You know who's always C-words? The Kardashians. You know the Kardashians always are C-word ho, as they say. They're definitely big into the C-word ho lifestyle. Well done. We'll pick up our C-word wives together next week. That's right, little darlings. We'll see you next Tuesday. We recently opened Shaved Ice Stand, which we were calling Eskimo, Eskimo Brothers. Brothers. Come on down and share some pleasures of shaved ice. If you've never had it shaved, your mouth is going to love it. We're open to all. Homeless? Dog. It's a, it's a pup cup. If you're a serviceman, we'll let you be an Eskimo Brother for free. Firemen love to be Eskimo Brothers. Priests? Priests come in. They usually uh, share a small. Well, okay. Okay, well, Doug! How are we going to be Eskimo brothers now, Doug? We recently volunteered to be coaches for spring baseball. Something we're very good at helping the kids identify is they're a pitcher or a catcher. Some kids just are natural catchers. If you're going to play catcher, expect to spend a lot of time on your knees. You have to be very flexible. Expect to have balls flying at you from everywhere. You're going to get plowed into That's it. That's why he's wearing protection in the first place. Remember, Whipper Snapper, whether you're a pitcher or a catcher, it's just fun to play the field sometimes. We recently volunteered to be hairpiece coordinators for the local theater. We are huge. Wiggers. We're the biggest wiggers around. What's up, my wigger? What's up, my fellow wigger? You know who could benefit from having a wigger in her life? Jaden Pinkett Smith. Uh, you mean Will Smith's husband? We could just slap one right on there. You know, if we sold wigs to them, we'd be wigger rich. Oh, well, they're celebrities. So you know they ain't messing with no broke wiggers. Wigger, please. Wasn't somebody in your family a wigger as well? Uncle Tom. He works from home, so he was He's a, a house wigger. We're wiggers for life, my wigger. Wiggy is alien. <laughs> she's a huge wigger. They often say, can wiggers do braids? Her braids are just a wig. Oh, she's a gigantic wigger. We were recently informed by the police that the local lacrosse teams have been causing a ruckus. It's not so much the girls' lacrosse team, G -lax. G -lax. It's the boys across him or the B-Lax. Oh, the police have their eye on the B-Lax. Police cannot stand the B-Lax. A local high school, the B-Lax Panthers, took on the B-Lax Hawks. There's a big fight. B-Lax on B-Lax crime. We cannot stand for it. B-Lax lives matter. If you're from an outside B-Lax team, do not mess with number 12. We don't mess with 12. On our team. Absolutely not. Who's more problematic, JV or Varsity B-Lax? I think it's the big B-Lax dick. To practice safety while doing handy work, Doug and I always wear our handy caps. That's right. I've got a huge handicap that I like to put on. I would say that wearing a handicap puts me in the headspace to do blue collar work. So it's like a mental handicap. Yeah. Most people in the construction industry probably have a mental handicap. Of one kind or the other. Get your heart on, dick. I you can't just be going around getting a heart on and hitting it with a hammer. I think OSHA wants most of the people in the construction industry to have a mental handicap. Right, and a heart on. Dick and I are starting a company to help our neighborhood with insurance protection, or as we call it, insure action. We just need to find some capital and we'll get started. Yeah, we can offer our neighbors protection from storm. All kinds of storming. Hail. It protects against broken windows. Somebody goes to your office, messes up your desk. Our prices are guaranteed lower than our competitors who will just steal right from you. Stop the steal. Hey, that's a pretty good slogan. I like that. Other insurance companies employ lizard people. Stop the steal of the lizard people. Join the insurrection. That sounds perfectly sane to me. Doug and I recently came on financial hardships, so to combat it, we're wholesaling items on Wish.com. We decided the best route to take would just be to build a Wish page. Now, the foundation of our business was to make a wish. Uh, hold on, I don't, I don't know if you should be referring to it. No, we were dying to make a wish. Well, hold uh, on, I think you're mixing two things. Up. One of those things is what you use when you think God has completely abandoned you, and the other one is when John Cena comes and visits you in the childhood hospital bed. Every Easter, we host a kid's petting zoo where the kids can play with our rabbits, Peter. That's right. We both have rabbits named Peter. But unfortunately, this Easter, our Peters broke loose. We had kids from all over the neighborhood running around trying to grab our Peters. If you've ever tried to handle one of our Peters, it's very tough. They're squirmy. Well, except for that one time uh, you grabbed that Peter and it was pretty stiff. Oh, that Peter had passed away and had rigor, rigor mortis. mortis. That was one of the stiffest Peters I've ever seen. With the high cost of eggs this year, we've decided to forego dying Easter eggs. This year, we'll be distributing Plan B, chocolate. That's right. Easter Plan B. Yeah, I told all the kids we're distributing Plan B this year. I, th I think you're mixing two things up, Arthur. One of those things is about dying eggs, the other one's about eggs dying. With spring around the corner, we started teaching the neighborhood kids about lawn maintenance. We're teaching them how to edge, how to trim bush, and how to fill in holes. If you want your kids to learn about grooming, come hang out with Dick and Doug. We'll give them tips and income. Kids love to get income. We know the springtime is afoot when all the blooms and flowers start coming out. Coming out season is one of our favorites. There's actually some pansies in my garden coming out right now from their wintertime closet. As I remember, you had those tulips and you put the succulent right between them. Oh, when the pansies, succulents, and tulips get together, it's a great coming out season. It's a coming out party, some would say. Doug likes to dig around in the mud during coming out season. I like to get my hands in there and see if I can get some of those new rosebuds to come up and bloom. But Doug is pretty good at getting things to come out. Yep. <sighs> 
We are pleased to report that many of the teens in the neighborhood have accepted Christ. Because they keep saying, He is risen. Christ is risen. They've even shortened it down to, He is risen up. Risen up to heaven. How could he not be? He's so strong. With those chiseled abs and sculpted pecs. He's going to get us all risen up to heaven. During the spring heat wave, we set up a refuge for overheated teens. Oh, we always have our eyes peeled for hot teens. No, we do not have our eyes peeled for hot teens. We're always looking out for hot kids, does. Let's just cut it. Do you remember who said that they wanted to help us with the hot kids? Jared Fogle. <laughs> hey, do you remember who? <laughs> Is that Prince Andrew, right, from England? That's our, our neighbor, Jeff. Jeff. Epstein? <laughs> yeah. The neighbor in this neighborhood? <laughs> <laughs> you can't just be going around uh, getting a hard on and hitting it with a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> I think OSHA wants most of the people in the construction industry to have a mental handicap. Right. And a hard on. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fun to play the field sometimes. Just get yourself out there. Try some different positions. You know who one of the best catchers of all time was? Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> you remember last year when your uh, Karen slammed your Peter in the car door? <laughs> I would say you have a short, wide Peter. And uh, I also have a short, wide Peter. <laughs> One time Doug came over to my house and played with my Peter without my consent. That's on me. No, I was sleeping. Did you kiss my Peter? <laughs> this is so fucked.